I wish you'd get out of my life and shut up. Stand by for the Big Dumb Fun Show. Cue the music. Cue announcer. From Studio 4 in Kansas City, it's the Big Dumb Fun Show. Starring Finkman. Just where do you think you're going? I was going to sell some rubber nipples. And Aaron Gnurk. I don't know how many times I've told those boys never call chicks boys. With Mark the Big Guy and Apple Snatch Jackson. Well, I better get going. Your show's almost gone. The Big Dumb Fun Show starts now. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode, another edition, another... Three hours of the Big Dumb Fun Show. My name is Aaron. I'm Bankman. Welcome back to another week. Uh, another time that we can all uh, get together. It's the Big Dumb Fun Show, my folks. Every Monday night, 7 to 10 p.m. Uh, right here, right now, live and uh, worldwide, as they say. Uh, we are Talking Rock. Uh, the, the one and only, the, uh, the original, uh, the real deal. In fact, that's what I've been going as, uh, just... Introducing myself to people as the real deal. People, like, to, people are like, "Hi, my name is Bob." How's You're it like, going? I'd like a, I'd like a quarter pounder of cheese. Uh, I'll take uh, that with a coke. Can, and uh, can I just, get a name for that? You just just call me the real deal. I'm sorry. Would you like the meal deal? No, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. Call me the real. The re- you know what? Forget about it. Just forget it. Uh, that's right. The one and only original Big Dumb Fun Show, uh, rocking the airwaves, Mondays seven to ten Central. By the way. We, I've grown out of the whole we, nickname thing myself. Really? I, mean, I guess Not unless me. you consider Gnurk, I'm all about the Knicks. Unless you consider Gnurk a nickname, it is. It's but it is my real name. I guess who I spoke with the, over the week, Apple Snatch Jackson. You're gonna have to no, I don't this. believe Apple that. Apple Snatch Jackson. She, uh, as you may know, uh, has kind of went ninja the last two weeks as far as she just two goes or three goes, weeks. Doesn't respond to to calls, texts, emails. She's on the Facebook. She's uh, she's uh, tweeting it up. You know, she's she's got all that stuff. But what's going on? Did she call you? Well, remember she's in a different time what zone. To, uh, she had a car breakdown. <laughs> no, no, no. She's in a different time zone, and so and so she said that you know, she keeps forgetting it's Monday. Wait a minute, that isn't. Well, now, hold on. No, Wait I'm a sorry. Second, that was know? a different excuse. I'm that sorry, was a were different you, excuse. Were you talking to Apple Snatch Jackson? Talking or to Apple. Okay, no, no, no. Else? She did say that it gets uh, pretty late. She's one hour ahead, and that uh, you know, because by the time we call her, it's damn near eleven o'clock. All right. Well, we'll just call her right now. How she, about that? <laughs> wouldn't that be great? You know, she would answer. She she, she would wants think to that'd say, be okay. Oh, it's getting late. It's another time zone. Yeah, I'm you sorry. You know, oh, come birch trees. Yeah, it's, all right. Uh, we, we should call her. Uh, we'll we'll call her here. Uh, Second hour of the show, maybe I don't know. I, maybe that'll be too late. Yeah, I mean, we, we want to get it right at the what happens. Right I mean, she's still. Time. Uh, did she find a job? The right time. Uh, no, I don't know. Uh, the last I heard, she was shopping in uh, New York uh, with her aunt, Whoa. which is so weird. No wonder she's got to get up early. Stevie Williams, you know, he lived in New York, and then he and he recently moved back, and now Ke- like the, the the town is not big enough for both of them. So now Kelly's in New York. Steve Williams back in Kansas City Wait, for a couple weeks. Kelly's so. outside of New York. Well, she's she, in Connecticut. Connecticut. I mean, I understand it's close, but driving it's, distance. It's like driving say, distance. it's like living in Lawrence and saying you live in Kansas City. Well, that would be ridiculous. Why would you even say that? Because oh, you the, were drawing a similarity. Yeah, yeah. because uh, nobody if said, hey, I live in Lawrence. People are like, where's that? Uh, I live outside Lawrence? of New York. <laughs> New York City. Get a rope. Uh, how was your week, my friend? I know you've been having some car trouble. Did you yeah. ever get that? Uh... No, I didn't get that. I did get a compressor, though, that I could pump the tire up with. Very helpful. You're welcome. <laughs> Save me the trouble and the expense of actually having to go out and get another tire. You know what I hate is uh, going somewhere and they charge for air, the, like the the gas stations that'll charge it's for air compressors. Yeah, it's like and, a dollar. I know. In like, Midtown. Well, who, who a dollar, and then you got to have like crack. And you're <laughs> <laughs> tell you what, but please put the dollar in the machine and the crack in my mouth. In the what? pipe. <laughs> so yeah, put, put the crack in the pipe. Uh, put dollar the four, in the four machine. quarters in the machine, and you got some. It, you got it, some air. Well, because the reality is in that area in that neighborhood. Where I uh, work, if you stop, if you've got four quarters, someone's going to ask you for five of them. <laughs> and you better have something else yeah, to give. My mom, it. we're just trying to catch the bus. We live in Belton. We ju- <laughs> we in Belton. I'm uh, serious. That's just the stories that have come out of people's mouths just for a little bit of money. <laughs> I could tell a few, but I have lately. <laughs> uh, you, you, you've you been that Yeah, guy. my story is that the tire's going out on my car. And my, <laughs> Excuse me, if you could just... 
spare a, a tire or Can't two. Can't fix a flats at least. Seven dollars. I only need large four size. tires. Uh, so, did you get it? Uh, did you get figured? So I didn't you do anything. Figured out. Though. You know what? I, I, here's you what I use here. fix a flat, which I, which I've been told. Never ever use fix a flat <laughs> because it makes a tire worthless. Yeah. Well, have I, you I seen know. these tires? I, like, like you have anything to worry about? Yeah. I like, mean, they're not new tires. I wouldn't put fix a flat maybe in my Corvette tires. I like. I, I like to say they make my hairline look good. Okay. It is a pretty flashy Honda you got out there. It's not a Honda. It's oh. a Toyota. Oh, that's totally different. So, thankfully, I had a means to pump the tires up. Yeah. Did it work? I've never used that. I put the fix-a-flat in, right? I, well, first I did. I used your, your little compressor that hooks up to the yeah. cigarette lighter. So it's like the cheapest yeah. deal, but it, like the most handy in a pinch type situation. But it's got like a flashing red light, too, so did you know you that way light? people know I didn't want someone to run me over. Oh. Well, why did you, you want you want to turn on the light to let people know that you're want, in the middle of the yeah, street? Yeah, I don't want to know that people know it's a hazard. What <laughs> I thought was weird is that uh, it's an air compressor mm -hmm. for your tire, right? So, but if I were to plug it into my truck, like how long is that cord? If you put it in the uh, in the in the nine volt or, or in the uh, the, the say, car it's, dash, it's not that long. Okay, yeah, I was going to say thankful, I would not be able to do it. Thankful it wasn't a rear tire. Yeah, because then, no, I, then you, I think you, you re would have really been in, you know, in trouble. You, it, you might be able. I don't know. In your truck, it's a little bigger, a little longer. You might have had a little bit of problem reaching that far back, but you have to just kind of make it work. You get the old reach around. Which, of course, is what I did. Yeah. Because the tire was just flat as heck. <laughs> it came flat as hell. You know, I go <laughs> you, out. You in were the like morning. an inch away, and you were like, you just had to cup your hand. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. There, there really probably wasn't was any an awful air visual, in it, by the way. and I was not going to do the the trick of like, well, let's just put the fix a flat in right away, because there's not enough air in that can to really bring the tire up. So I plugged in the compressor, I hooked it up, I let the thing run for it takes like 15 minutes, yeah. to get a couple pounds of air in a tire with that thing. It almost is faster just to blow it up by hand. <laughs> you got one of those uh, those like bicycle pumps. Like, God, this right. stupid. Let that do. Then I, I had to fix a flat. I had been putting next to a heat source in the apartment, so it was nice and warm. I put that stuff in. It kind of went out all over a little bit. Not that big a deal. Was able to get the car going. Drove down the hill. Drove around. You know, to let the fix a flat stuff circulate inside the tire. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it's stopped basically at the, just stopped like at a, the same. Service station got that dollars worth of air. It's like an ooze, and it's lasted like well, that was Monday, Tuesday. That it lasted six days. Why are you waiting so long to replace your tire? Is it just uh, the the funds I'm that you're really, waiting? You're waiting no, on funds? it's not. I don't know that it's the funds. I well, it's fun <laughs> to see yeah. how long I can you're, you're, let you're, this you're, thing go. Like Kramer off Seinfeld, you're like, how long can I drive on a tank of gas? You're just trying to chance it now. Tonight, we got a big show, Gnurk. Uh, James Kilroy, Mr. Jimmy Kilroy, is going to be in studio. All right, all right, all right. We got the big list, the uh, entertainment report, plus Chris. Sports Nuts with a guy named Chris. Celebrity Stan is going to be dropping by, the Santa to the Stars, and a big announcement. Three, two, one, go. Don't touch your watch. Don't touch my watch. Don't touch my watch.